Welcome to the DeFi Standard. This is Patty XRP, and this is going to be a follow up tutorial video on how to utilize the Akala testnet called Mandala. And this will be a solid run through as well for anybody that hasn't taken uh, part in a DeFi platform before. Um, while this may not be the exam, the exact same as any platform that you're going to use, uh, you know, it will likely have some similarities that you can kind of see from this demo. So if you want, anybody can participate on this testnet. All you need is a um, Polkadot wallet, and then you need to be able to get some uh, testnet tokens, which we'll kind of go over here. There, I'm going to be using the Polkadot.js extension uh, wallet, which is uh, similar to MetaMask and is a browser extension you can use on your computer. Um, if you see up here in the top right, it's a little orange circle with the polka dot logo in it. And you can see I have a couple accounts set up. It's pretty easy and there's videos on the internet if you want to look into that. So let me go ahead and copy my test account. And we're going to go over here to the Akala Discord, which you can get to via their website called akala.network. And all I have to do to get the testnet token sent to me is in their Akala testnet faucet channel that they have. Um, I type in a exclamation mark, drip, and then put in my um, address. So that'll signal it to send some tech testnet tokens to me. You can see it responded, sent Patty XRP to Akala to a USD two dot two tenths of a XBTC. And yeah, we'll go back over to my wallet. And all of a sudden, you can see we got about almost $10,000 worth of Bitcoin here. Um, we have some DOT tokens, some more ACA. I had already been participating in this, so that's why kind of some of these are not the exact same as what they sent over to me. But let's kind of go through what some of the things that we can do um, once we get into this. So we're going to go to the liquid staking tab. And if you caught our earlier video uh, kind of explaining what the Akala network is aiming to do uh, in their in a future parachain slot on Polkadot. One of the big things is Liquid Dot, which is a derivative form of uh, staked Dot, and so that allows you to earn interest by staking your Dot, and then also unlock the liquidity and value of that Dot, so you can participate in other DeFi applications. So since I have two Dot right now, um, let's go ahead and we'll do the max. And I get about 19.998766 liquid dot. Um, you can see what the price is here. And there's this, you know, eight, nine cent fee associated with doing this. So that's why it's not exactly two to 20. Um, and then let's hit stake there. Kind of have this window pop up from polkadot.js. And let's remember my password so we don't have to do this every time. But. Hopefully that is correct the first time around. Top right, you can see that it's minting the L dot for me. Cool, I just received that total L dot in my wallet and go back to here where it has my test account. You can see I have no dot left and now I have more L dot. And so this L dot will be representative of a certain amount of dot tokens that I can get back. And uh, there'll be some minor ex changes in the exchange rate as more stake dot has been accumulated and not distributed back to people that are claiming it. So um, basically, the total amount of dot staked in this liquid staking protocol plus any accrued dot as interest over the total um, issued supply of L dot is what the exchange rate will be at any given time. So now that we have some L dot, let's go over here and. Let's actually check out the Borrow AUSD. So this is their Hansen stablecoin protocol. And I kind of have a CDP taken out already. So let's take a look at this. Um, so I have about 0.4 XBTC locked up as collateral. And that's worth about $18,404 right now. Um, I took out 10,000 AUSD with some interest. It's at $10,005. And I actually can generate more AUSD if I want to. 
However, I want to keep a collateral ratio where I can withstand a one-third price drop without having to put more assets in to kind of keep myself safe. Uh, generally, I will be able to look at the market before it falls 33% and realize that it's crashing. <laughs> so um, with this, let's kind of deposit some more XBTC. We can put in everything. It shows you my new liquidation price, the new collateral ratio I'm going to have, um, and then what the network fee is. So we can confirm that. Gonna load over here. Cool. Let's extend the period. And it's going to run through up here. Well, so that went through. I can now generate 9,000 AUSD. What I'm going to do is generate about 4,000 of this without doing the math. That should keep me at that kind of price point I was looking to do. Cool. Sign this transaction and let that collateral update. Awesome. So I actually have a little higher ratio. I could take out more um, and be up by a little less, but this is fine with me uh, for the purposes of right here. Basically, right now, Bitcoin's trading at 46K. It would have to fall to 28K for me to get liquidated. So that's good to know. Uh, if we go back to the wallet and see, I have $4,000 worth of AUSD now. And let's. Um, well, let's do a swap, and what we will do is swap half of this AUSD for, um, let's do liquid dot. Then you can kind of see how that works. So right here, we're going to take half of our AUSD, and we are going to swap it for liquid dot, and we'd receive about 102 uh, liquid dots with 2,002 stable coins. Additionally, you can see this is the minimum amount I will receive. Um, this is how much I should receive up here. You can see there's a difference of about five tenths. And um, that's just what you can imagine happening from slippage. So the price impact only 0.1%. That means that, you know, this liquidity pool is large enough to handle this transaction basically. And I should feel good about being able to swap here. Um, you can have a higher slippage ratio and stuff like that. Um, with advanced features. Let's go ahead and swap. Well, sign that transaction. Nice. And I just received 102.7 liquid dots. So it went through pretty close to the ratio that it said it was going to. Now let's utilize the liquidity function here. Um, let's see what I already have here. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm already providing in, but let's go ahead and provide to a liquid dot and a USD pool. We're going to do the max amount that we can do. And then, nice, it'll tell me the exchange rate between the two right now. So one liquid dot's worth about $19.47 of a USD um, in this current pool size. Right there is about 25 million AUSD to 1.29 million liquid dot. So it's about $50 million worth of value in this pool. And also they have a button I can click here with stake where it will automatically stake my LP tokens in their earning platform to earn the ACA token. So let's click add liquidity here. Extend this period, keep doing that. And we'll have some liquidity added to the DEX. Cool. So that went through. And you can see it. I still have some dot left over because I didn't have exactly 50-50 value split between those two. But if we go over to the earn platform, we can see that, okay, I was already providing to the LDOT AUSD pool. So I just added more there. I can claim ACA earned whenever I want to. You know, I could sit here and do this all day. I could do it once a day. Um, the sooner I do it, the sooner I can make use of my Akala tokens. Um, so that's something to take into account there. And if I want to, I can click manage here. So like, let's say I have about 573 um, LP tokens. 
Let's go ahead and just withdraw 10 of those so we can kind of go through how that works. We're signing that transaction. Cool, so that went through. And if we go back over to kind of our dashboard, you can see currently I have 10 liquidity LP tokens that are not staked anywhere right now, like in the earn platform. Um, and let's see what this transfer button does. Oh, it'll let me send them between different accounts that I have set up. Cool. So if we go back over here to the swap platform, go to liquidity, and let's say we want to, there should be, there we go, withdraw liquidity option. We know this is LP, L dot, um, and we're going to withdraw the maximum amount. So it says I'm going to get 128 AUSD and 6.583 liquid dot um, back, and then minus any kind of fee, which is around $0.09. Cents. So not too bad with that. Cool. So we can see I received some liquid dot and some AUSD. Uh, additionally, if maybe I want to pay back some of this loan, I can do that down here. Let's just do... Okay, so they only let you pay it back in AUSD. So that's important to note. Um, Let's go ahead. I think I should have 10, I think. What's the max amount? 128. Cool. So little 10 cent fee that goes with it. It's paid in the ACA token network fee. And cool. So we'll confirm that. And the amount of the amount we have to pay back will go down. Tokens balance too low. Not sure what happened there. Um, it may be that I need to pay back more than just 10 individual stable coins, but I don't have those right now. So, I mean, that's still the mechanism for doing it, uh, even though we failed there. And let's finally just go and show a couple things. So they'll have some different oracles integrated for like, um, let's see, they have Ren BTC, XBTC, and Polka BTC, as well as DOT, um, since that's native to the relay chain of the Polka DOT network. And then additionally, you can kind of get a look at how the governance platform is set up. You can see they have different councils depending on the protocol that it's behind. Um, and this is where you can kind of, you can make proposals. You can, um, yeah, just look through like when new votes are scheduled and apply your votes through this platform. So that'll cover just about everything that I wanted to get into with this. Uh, it's pretty easy to play around with and set up if you just get this um, Polkadot.js extension wallet set up. Uh, you can make like, you know, a main account if you don't want, if you want to use someone separate from a test account and things like that. It looks like they'll also be having NFTs here. And um, this is where you'll be able to do some cross-train bridge trading as well. So if you want to bring Bitcoin onto the network, you can use some different types of bridges. But yeah, that'll wrap up, wrap this up. Um, honestly, this was pretty helpful in just testing out some DeFi stuff, especially if you're looking for something to do before Flare or Songbird go live. Definitely suggest checking this out. You can get used to like monitoring it, seeing like how loans change in real time and like rewards you can earn, just like how to click around. Uh, this is pretty similar to the Flare Finance beta they had. So um, definitely suggest it if you're looking to get practice and there's no real value, so can't hurt yourself. Um, I'll include the link for the website below. You can just come here and click the app button and then it will take you to their platform. Well, well, that'll wrap it up for me. Uh, this is the DeFi standard, and I'm Patty XRP, and I am out. See you guys.